Guys, just a week ago I did a video of new fragrances I am anticipating and in that video I said I'm excited to try the new Widian Banias, this one right here. In that video I also said I gotta really dig into this house because I've sampled a lot of their fragrances in passing but never really settled on any and I've smelled some really really great fragrances. So here it is, I'm reviewing Banias for you guys a week or so later after I said I want to review it. In this video I'm gonna talk to you about Banias. If you're curious to learn about Witty and Bunnias, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about Bunnias from the house of Widian, the first Widian fragrance I am going to be reviewing for you guys. So, are you a fan of this house? And if you are, what are your favorite fragrances? Do let me know. Put a comment down in the info box. Just to also let you guys know, there is a discount code that was set up by Lucky Scent, uh, and it's uh, you know linked in the info box directly to this uh, fragrance. And the discount code is the Perfume Guy. All the information is in the info box. You can go check out this fragrance or check out any other Widian fragrances or explore the store. But this is a 2022 launch. It's Widian's Bunny Us. It's created by perfumer Jordi Fernandez. And uh, in that video that I said in the anticipation, I said I'm curious to see what he's done with this because I've seen some of his fragrances and I enjoyed them. This particular fragrance is Extrait de Parfum and I would call this a woody aromatic fragrance. I do have to say also great presentation amazing presentation and this artwork is just gorgeous to die for look at that I feel like it needs to have roses because there's definitely the, these rosy there's roses all over this uh, packaging as you can see right there but I am so impressed with the presentation it is just gorgeous this artwork like I want to frame it and put it on the wall you know that's how pretty that is let me just show you the box as well look at this I really love this, this whatever that is, it's this beautiful cutout of the bottle. Really, really beautiful, a gorgeous presentation. Uh, and then the box uh, opens up and then uh, the fragrance sits in there like that. So I give, yeah, this, this presentation is amazing. I give it really high mark, like really solid, top-notch presentation and beautiful, beautiful artwork. So that is the presentation. I normally don't show presentation, but I really wanted to highlight this one because it is just absolutely gorgeous. But going back to this fragrance, the notes for Widian's Banias are bergamot, artemisia, lavender for top notes. Heart notes are geranium, cedarwood, and oud wood. Finally in the base notes, patchouli, sandalwood, vetiver, and evernil. Now do you know what evernil is? I had to look it up because it has been coming up over and over and over again, but evernil is almost like oak moss. It's foresty, mossy, damp, earthy, wet, lichen-like aroma similar to oak moss absolute. It's a great fixative helping to lock down those airy notes. This is information I gathered from the internet. I didn't come up with those words. Just wanted to tell you what uh, Evernil is. I've never used Evernil, but I, as I said, I've seen it come up quite a bit and I was curious to, to find out and definitely uh, it's uh, oak moss. Well, it's sort of like oak moss. And it makes sense to me now uh, the, the fact that there's Evernil here in the, uh, the base notes, which is oak moss like, and in the top notes we've got lavender, and in the base, I mean, in the heart notes we've got geranium. This is kind of like an, a barbershop or aromatic fougere. I'm calling it more of a woody aromatic. I don't really get the signature barbershop y fougere like smell, but definitely lots of aromatics and lots of woods. We're going to use uh, first spray the fragrance. Lots of lavender when you uh, is a blast. It's a lavendery blast, along with that very citrusy, uh, juicy bergamot here. But there is that unique Artemisia note, and I really like this note. I've smelled plenty of it in my lifetime, uh, where I've seen it grow. It kind of has a very interesting smell. It's kind of piney. It's kind of some kind of a herb, and also a little licoricey, all rolled into one. So the start in here, in the, with the Widian's Bunnies, is all very aromatic and also spicy because these aromatics and herbs have a spiciness about them. But there's something here in the top that I'm getting that's not credited for notes. I'm definitely picking up something sweet and fruity, but it's almost like a nondes nondescript kind of a fruit. So I'm not I'm not saying it's a, an apple or it's a, a berry of some kind. It could also be something like pear because there's a sweet fruitiness there, but it's not very distinct to, to kind of like 
to be distinguished like it's apples or berries or something. Pear are kind of like very nondescript to me. It's a little hard to find, but there's that light fruitiness there and a little bit of, um, you know, uh, sweetness. So in the heart, we do experience lots of geranium and geranium and lavender are really king here. It's very aromatic, it's herbal, it's spicy, of course. And then you do have tons of oud wood. The oud in here is definitely very woody. I wouldn't say this is kind of animalic or funky kind of oud, very wearable oud, because I find this fragrance to be very, very classy, very classy. At one time I thought, man, this is a very masculine, masculine leaning fragrance, but with the fact that I'm getting the sweet fruitiness up top, definitely goes kind of unisex, you know? But I feel like, you know, this type of fragrance generally is masculine leaning. But the fragrance dries down to woods. It's very woody because the aromatics are now kind of fading away. You've got lots of woods here. We've got the earthiness from the patchouli. Very, very sexy patchouli here. You've got that sandalwood. It has a creaminess about it. Smooth, creamy. Beautiful, very, very cozy. And then there's this grassiness about the vetiver. And of course, there's that evernil that comes in, creates a, a bit of a damp forest floor-like uh, experience, which is what it's known for, oak moss. And that's pretty much the extent of this particular fragrance. To me, this is a very easy to wear fragrance, at least to me it is. It's also non-challenging. So I feel like this will be very, very, uh, you know, appreciated by people around you that are smelling you because it, I feel like this is a kind of fragrance it is that it's a crowd pleaser. The other great thing about this is very very long lasting. It is an extrait de parfum. It lingers on forever but this is not a fragrance that's a I wouldn't call this a showstopper. Uh, it's not a fragrance that's going to be like leaving this massive trail big beast mode kind of um, projection and things like that. That's not the kind of fragrance this is. This is more classy. It's got class all the way. It's gentlemanly in a way that, uh, you know, I, I see an executive wearing something like this because it's not only gorgeous, it smells great, but it's also very, very long lasting. So you don't have to replenish your fragrance, you know, a couple hours after you've put it on. And that's the kind of uh, reason why there's brands like this to create these very strong Extrait de Parfum concentration fragrances that are really great to wear. And you only, you don't, like I said, you don't have to replenish them. You put it on in the morning, you can still smell it at the end of the day. Again, this is not a loud, loud fragrance, but it has great longevity. It's also not a, um, a showstopper, as I said. It's just a pleasant fragrance woody aromatic, very classy to wear day in and day out. Anyway, those are my thoughts on this particular fragrance. I highly recommend you try a sample before you buy. You know, it's not, I would say this is not a groundbreaking fragrance. I've smelled fragrances like this before, but not in this particular way. It's definitely that woody aromatic experience, but that fruitiness kind of throws me off a little bit, but it's a good throw me off, you know. It smells nice. It kind of adds a nice contrast, but it's not a fragrance that I've never smelled before. It's just the way it's done, I think it's really beautiful. Anyway, Banias from the House of Widian. Uh, don't forget to take advantage of your discount code. It's the Perfume Guy, saves you 10% at Lucky Scent. Uh, I've linked to the fragrance in the info box. But let me know what your thoughts are on this fragrance. Does it sound like a fragrance you'd like to uh, try? Uh, put a comment down. And as I said, do let me know what your favorite Widian fragrances are. I'd love to find out. If the presentation for all their fragrances are like this, man, I need to really di seriously dig into this house. The bottle is just beautiful. The color of this bottle is just really beautiful, as you can see. Gorgeous blood red. Uh, I'm hooked. So we'll see if I can dig into more fragrances from this house. But do let me know. Put a comment down. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching today. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.